Welcome back friends, this is Dram here and it's 22nd tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see a relation of combo box and database. In this tutorial we are going to add database value into a combo box. So let's start. First of all I will rename the title. combo box and database so now next I will add a combo box so here combo box say combo box equals to new combo box Fix the import for combo box. Next, I'm going to create an observable list such that we can add the database content into the observable list, and that observable list we are going to pass to a combo box. So, next. create a observable list so I will say final observable list say options equals to new sorry equals to fx collection dot observable array list now we are going to add this list into a combo box so come to a combo box so next I am set uh, observable list into a combo box then I'm going to set some height so set max height and say value 30 now next is I'm going to add the combo box into the layout so I will cut this and paste above the H box so such that we can add this combo box after the load button so combo box and say here all next we are going to fetch the database content to the combo box so to do that I'm going to create an, a class say field combo box and in the combo box I'm going to add say string Query equals to select so in the combo box. We are going to add these fields of first name. 
so select first name from user database table then set the connection so pst equals to connection dot prepare statement and add a query in the statement next is execute the query so rs equals to pst dot execute a query so this is the error because of we have to add a try catch block so I'm going to surround a block with a try catch next is I'm going to add a loop while rs dot next and add options dot add say rs dot get string and set the column label first name semicolon next is close the connection and close the result set so now we are going to call this class in our application so I'm going to copy this and add this class in the application so so it will execute when a start class execution starts now save this now the we are going to run this application so initial username and password for my application is ram so here you can see this is the combo box which we have added in the this application and these are the first names which we have fetched from the database so this is the database with the first name ram tom john peter and rao and say ram tom john peter and rao now we are going to add a uh, one more user say John say the John Don is already added I'm going to add say Tony Stark then next sorry here will be the ID so I'd say ID 6 Stark then say email ID Tony Stark at the rate gmail.com then next username say Tony I will say the same password Tony and say birth, date of birth mm, so I will set 28 
to say 1980 and save this so now we have added a user in the database so ok and the here is the problem the date which is manually added is not cleared and the user recently added is not added in the combo box so we are going to remove this after adding new user or save and refreshing the combo box so close this and come here in the so we are going to clear date after saving the user when we manually add the date it will not clear so we are going to clear when we add a date manually so get editor dot set text say null so it will clear the value when we add a value in the date manually now we are going to refresh the combo box when we add a new user or we save a new user so come to your save button action method and add a field that is add field combo box class so next is I am going to add field combo box and save this so the corrections are done and run again initial username and password is ram login now so this is the new user which we have added tony so next is now we are going to check whether the new user appears and a date field is set null or not so next I am going to add a new user say to check so next is the seventh say search in Tendulkar say email id search in Tendulkar say username search in same password search in and I am going to set the birth say 24 6 19 72 it's not a correct birth date of a search in but it's I am using a for the example so save and when a user created and we click on ok so here it automatically cleared the field so the program is running now now next is the here the observable list added again the same user in the class with the searching now we are going to clear this problem 
by adding a options dot we are going to clear first observable list and changing the options so options dot clear now when we call this fill box it will always clear the previous options and set the newly added of first names in the combo box so save this now whenever we add a new user it will autom automatically clear the first fields or a first list in the combo box and then add it will the it will add a new list so i will run again and log in so it will add the all the list lm list users in the combo box now we are going to add one more user say it virat kohli say virat kohli at the rate gmail dot com next say virat pa username and password virat so next i'm going to add the data bar say 24619990 now we are going to save this user okay the clear fields are cleared now check the combo box list so here you can see when we add a new user it uh, it added a uh, directly and a uh, one that problem has solved it is adding a newly added a list so this is the tutorial on combo box and database that is how to add a database value into a combo box in the next tutorial we are going to see some action on combo box when we press this one of the user it will add the user information in this text field so stay tuned with the my channel and if you have any question about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram@gmail.com and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial